Exclusive. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have long complained that the palace would brief against them for its own gain. King Charles' decision to evict Prince Harry and Meghan from Frogmore Cottage dominated headlines this week, as people responded to the news that the Sussexes would no longer have a UK base. But one expert has claimed the timing of the leak was a plot to shift attention away from the King's controversial meeting with Ursula von der Leyen. The European Commission president joined Rishi Sunak in Windsor to announce a new Brexit framework for Northern Ireland. Finally, moving past a stalemate which has left the country in limbo for months. But it was Charles' decision to take part in a photo opportunity with von der Leyen which provoked a backlash in some quarters. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have just weeks to vacate their grace and favor home near Windsor Castle, after the palace issued them with an eviction notice shortly after the publication of Harry's explosive memoir, Spare. Prince Andrew is understood to have been offered the keys to the Edwardian home instead but is kicking his heels and as he doesn't want to leave Royal Lodge, the 30-room mansion that he shares with ex-wife Sarah Ferguson. Harry and Meghan issued a simple statement in response to the reports, confirming that they had been asked to vacate Frogmore. No official word has come from the palace, as officials insist it is a private matter. But royal commentator Ofwa Hagen has suggested that the story first obtained by The Sun on Wednesday, was leaked as a distraction from the real royal story this week, Charles' meeting with von der Leyen. Miss Hagen is skeptical of the timing of the Frogmore eviction story and told Express.co.uk, this has come out because of the real royal story, which was the King's involvement and discussions with Brexit and Northern Ireland. That's why this has come out as a distraction. Pressed on whether Frogsit was deliberately leaked, Miss Hagen said, whenever there is something that is potentially embarrassing to someone in the royal family they roll out Harry and Meghan to keep the eyes on them and not on where perhaps the real issue is. The Sussexes are fully aware of this tactic, she said, noting how they commented on the deliberate leaking of stories in their Netflix docu-series. In the six-episode series, Harry says, there's a hierarchy in the family. You know, Terry's leaking, but Terry's also planting of stories. He refers to it as a dirty game. More recently in a U.S. interview to promote his book, Harry accused Camilla of leaking stories about the family to the British media as part of her campaign to rehabilitate her image. Buckingham Palace has declined to comment on the claims regarding the Frogmore leak, but long-standing commentary Richard Fitzwilliams was unconvinced and said he didn't consider the King's meeting with the senior Eurocrat as a major issue. Ms. Hagen on the other hand suggested it was a mistake as it risked overstepping his constitutional role of political neutrality. Other experts agreed, with the BBC's former royal correspondent branding it a serious error in judgment and constitutional expert. Craig Prescott from Bangor University branded it unwise as politicians have not yet backed the agreement. Whether the story was leaked deliberately or not, Ms. Hagen doesn't think the Frogmore eviction will prompt Harry and Meghan to reconsider attending the King's coronation in May or prevent peace talks from taking place. She said, I still think that Harry wants reconciliation and he will push for that. And being part of the coronation is a good step on the rise to reconciliation. They will still attend. I don't think it has had any impact on that yet. The commentator added, Bridges haven't been completely burned. They're not yet at the point of no return. Miss Hagen said that while the Frogmore eviction was a shame the decision was inevitable and the Sussexes are unlikely to be too upset by it. They're making their life in the U.S., she said. They have a beautiful home, they're pretty settled there. I'm not sure that they would even want to return to live in the U.K. The expert added that they would only be using Frogmore as a base when they come back for key royal events such as the coronation.